Hey, Leon. This is piano lesson number one. This first lesson, I will give you an intro. That's short for introduction, and it means I'll tell you how this is going to work. You'll watch a video and then do what it asks you to do, either by yourself or if your parents are available with them would be even better. And then at some time when it's convenient for all of us, that same week, we will FaceTime and you'll play for me or do for me whatever I asked you to do with the piano on the video. So every time you finish two lessons successfully, we will call it a milestone. And after five milestones, you will receive a special medallion. That's something to mark how, what you're doing with our lessons. Just so you know what we'll be talking about as we go through the weeks, some of the words will be keys. Those are the black and white pieces of the piano. They're also something else that has to do with where on the piano you play, but we'll get to that much later. We'll talk about rhythm, which is the kind of pace or fast or slow motion that your song or your playing has, and that's also called the beat. We'll talk about hand positions because there are certain special ways to hold your hands so that your fingers don't step all over each other. Um, later, we'll talk about how music looks on paper, how those lines and dots that look that are, are called music manuscripts or music sheets, how they tell you where to put your fingers. Okay, that was the intro. Now this is our official lesson, lesson one. Each lesson will have a concept and an action. A concept means idea or what we are talking about. Action, of course, means doing something. The concept for lesson one is familiarity. That means becoming familiar or knowledgeable. Familiarity is knowing about something, getting used to it. Like you're very, very familiar with your mom and your dad and pretty familiar with me Let's see, you're not familiar with some stranger who lives down the road and probably wouldn't want to be. Anyway, that's familiarity. Um, the first action is press on the keys with any fingers um, going up and down the keyboard, bottom to top, top to bottom, and any fingers at all, however you want to do it, just to get, again, familiar with how they feel. And listen as you do this. Um, and then what I'll do now is just take the camera and hold it and while I'll demonstrate what I mean by that. Whoops. Okay, I'm talking about just go Just play. Or then. Be kind of a fish going up the keyboard. Kind of a fish coming down if you want to. Anything just sort of playing with it. You can even just go. Just play and play with it and do that um, once really slowly and once quickly from top to bottom and bottom to top. 
And then, like I said, listen to it while you do it and just get the feel. The feel of how it feels. Now, after you've done that for a minute, make your fingers act like finger guys and walk, find eight, find an area of the piano you want to deal with. Right now, it doesn't matter where you start. And walk your fingers eight steps up and back, just like finger guys on a railroad track. You can have them just walking and just are jumping around. Oop, low battery mode. And then do it with the white and black keys. Eight up and back. And I won't use my left hand, but I'd like you to try it with your left hand as well. Maybe down a little lower. Actually, find the same note that you started on up here and find that note with your left hand and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with your left hand. And then do them at the same time. That's eight on the white keys up and back and eight white and black up and back. And you can start wherever you want. I'm starting just, this is a little ahead of ourselves, but I'm starting on C. If you want to start on C, C is right below the twin blacks. The black twins are there, and there's C. And then you find the black twins. Here's the black twins. Here's some more black twins. And that white one underneath it is called C. Anyway, don't worry about the names like C, C, D, E right now. Just pick a key you like. Like you might like the one, the one right in the middle of the black twins. But that's how you find it. And then do eight up. And eight back. I hope this has been clear. And if not, we'll talk about it when we FaceTime. And then we will have lesson two. Have a great day.